What's up guys, AEW World's End ended probably about 40-ish minutes ago. Still waiting on the media scrum to start, so I'm just going to go ahead and make my review of the show. Um, and then I'll just cover the media scrum, I guess, in the morning. Um, but, the AEW World, uh, World Championship match was awesome, beautifully put together. MJF did lose the title, so Mojo is the new champion. Um, but a great match altogether. This one surprised me. Moxley versus Kingston surprised me because I didn't think Mox was going to lose, and he did. So I guess that means Eddie's going to Japan. I'm excited for uh, January 4th even more now because I love Eddie Kingston and New Japan Pro Wrestling. It should be a fun show. Tony Storm and Riho um, for the women's title. It's a good match. Tony Storm defeated Riho. Um, good match. Tony's a great wrestler. Riho as well. Um, yeah, I had no problems with it. Um, all in all, pretty good match. The TNT No DQ Championship match. So, here's the funny part. So, Edge won it. And then the 20-man battle, rum battle royal that they had on the pre-show was won by Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus, or I'm sorry, Killswitch. Killswitch comes out to cash in his opportunity to get the title back. And Christian Cage says, no, nah, give it to me. Give me the contract. And, and Kill Switch does it for reasons I don't know why we're still doing. But Christian Cage left tonight with the TNT Championship because he cashed in on a half with Adam Cole literally right after the match. Uh, Julia Hart defeated Abaddon. I'm not surprised by that at all. Julia Hart Young still needs some work done and hasn't, you know, Haven't been champion long enough. This match here, Claudio Danielson, Briscoe, and Garcia was won by Claudio Danielson, Briscoe, and Garcia. Loved it. Dan, my boy Danny G got a big showing in the match. Daniel Garcia, you know what I'm saying? It's an awesome match. The next match here, Claudio, or my bad, Guevara, Jericho, Sting, and Darby versus Big Bill, Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs, and uh, Takeshita was won by Guevara, Sting, Jericho, and Allen. <sighs> Guevara scored the pin over Starks. My boy Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Um, but nah, it was cool. Like it was, it was cool. It was a good match. Swerve obviously defeated Keith, uh, not Keith Lee, Dustin Rhodes because I guess Keith Lee was hurt. I don't know. Uh, Andrade lost to Miro on his way out the door of AEW. If y'all didn't see it, he is expected to be done with AEW uh, immediately. So, unfortunately, we are going to be losing uh, Swerve. Or, I'm sorry, not Swerve, uh, Andrade. But, let's get to this. This freaking crap, dude. Adam Cole was the devil. I told y'all Matt Taven and Mike Bennett were going to be his masked men. Roddy Strong and Wardlow were with him. Freaking Adam Cole was revealed as the devil. Personally, love it. But, also, could we not have done Jack Perry? Just for the freaking reaction, man. But no, in all seriousness, though, I love Adam Cole. I, I respect Matt Taven and Mike Bennett a lot. I love Roderick Strong, and I kind of like Wardlow. So I think this pairing is going to work. MJF is reportedly going to take some time off, though. So what does that mean for what these five are going to do while he's gone? I'm assuming they're going to target Samoa Joe to get Adam Cole the AEW World Championship. But, but, the point is, Adam Cole... That little scrammy little man right there is the devil. And apparently, he's going to be cleared to compete, right? Because he's, he's in a boot, but he might be cleared to compete. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys thought of AW World's End. And uh, how are we feeling about Adam freaking Cole being the devil? And Mike Bennett and Matt Taven being the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Uh, I love wrestling, man. This is, I love wrestling. All right.
Make sure to like and subscribe. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.